Hi friends, welcome back to our table. I'm sorry I haven't been on much. I usually try at least get two videos a week. Um, all I can do is tell you the truth. With the Lost of Hero, I've just been doing a lot of cleaning and stuff. When I get upset or mad or anything, anything emotional, I clean. I just start. And it's just to get rid of the energy. And by the way, I, um, I really want to thank you all for your love and understanding and prayers for Hero. It really meant a lot to me. And a Jared and a Kim. And a hero. Okay? So, the other thing is, um, um, tomorrow, um, we will be doing a recorded video with Chris, Celestial Chris, and Water Bendita on um, green climate change, you know that. But it won't air until um, Earth Day. So, and it will be taped, it won't be live. I mistakenly said live, better tell you, I, I'm just not. I'm just not fully there yet, um, but I'm getting better. It, it, it will be okay. It's just, um, it's just hard. And y'all know, y'all have been there. And I really do thank each and every one of you for your patience, your love, your understanding, just everything. Y'all have been just wonderful, and I thank you. So... Also, um, Celestial Chris has gotten me, um, basically, it's a plug. Like, um, Jared got me a USB plug to plug my mic in where you charge it. Um, and that way, it wouldn't interfere if I was online with someone. Worked perfectly. But what Chris said was your phone is losing its charge when you have a bad um, connection and you're just depending on your data your phone just starts it just tanks and it does i told him i said you're absolutely right that's exactly what <laughs> it does and so he got me a usb where i can plug my mic in but also charge my phone at the same time I'm doing a video. So I've been working on this, trying to get the angle right because the problem I ran into with the angle, and by the way, you see my nice new tablecloth here, it fit this table perfectly, absolutely perfectly. Anyway, um, the, the USB is heavy, so it keeps pulling my phone down and I have, thank God, I have two different stands. I have two different stands. Uh, the one where I can angle the phone really easy so that y'all can see um, and then raise it up. But that holds the ends of the phone, okay? And where I plug it in is in the end of the phone. If I use that stand and I try to plug it in, it won't plug all the way in because of the the holder. So I have my other little, which is just a little literally, and because of the weight of the USB on one end, it kept falling. <laughs> so every time I would get a good view of the table so y'all could see, because I can't, you know, aim it down. It, it is what it is. And every time I would get a good view, it would just start to fall over. Well, I've spent just all of the morning trying to get this set up where my phone won't fall over and I have everything. Um, and I finally did it. I This is fine. I'm not, <laughs> not touching anything else. And um, it hasn't fallen over. So 
Uh, but if in the future I'm doing videos and it falls over, well, I've got the stand that doesn't hold the phone. It just sits on it. <laughs> There's a difference. But when I plug it in, everything works fine. And with the other, I, I can't because of the holder. Anyway. So there's my my explanation and everything and <clears throat> I love this this cloth and the fact that it absolutely went with this table and it fit it perfectly. I mean the ends <laughs> everything and, and the table is black. I, well you can't see that cuz that's too close to the edge. But it fits perfectly. It was exactly the same size as the table. <laughs> and I actually liked this and I had it on um one of my end tables in the living room. And I thought, you know what? Let's just put that on that table. And I did. So, oh woohoo. Well, that's what I'm saying. See, when you start moving things, cleaning things, you, you never know what <laughs> you'll end up doing. But I thank each and every one of you for your love, your patience, and your understanding. And just bear with me a little longer. I'll get back to normal soon. Okay, one thing that I do want to do is um, Mark Meadows. All of these texts of his are all of a sudden coming out. I want to know why. Is he working with them? Has he made a deal? I mean, what's going on? <laughs> By the way, I hate that any deals are being made because I think every one of them that were involved in saying that we should do the insurrection and stop the votes and everything need to resign. If you have any little bit of decency and respect in your court, resign. Because you don't belong in government. That's my opinion. <laughs> this is for entertainment purposes only. And it's just my opinion on the energy of my cards. I hate that people are going to get off doing this. And yet I know that's exactly what's happening. But I don't know about Mark Meadows. It just seems strange that all of a sudden we're besieged with all these, you know, text to him, from him. Yeah. So what's going on with the text? What's going on with the text with Mark Meadows? Has he made a deal? What's he done? What's up? Just the truth. Oh. I cannot really... And I really can't move it up either. So I don't want to. I finally got it to where it's stable and I just don't want to. Some people ask me, why don't you turn up all the cards? When I do my cards, I do them. I feel what is being said. When I feel stop, I stop. I'm still holding on to them. If I feel start anew, I start a new row. And when I feel stop, I stop. If I don't feel go on, they're nothing to me. It doesn't matter what these are. It, it doesn't matter. It's nothing. So they just go to the side. It's how I do it, y'all. I, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> I've done this all my life. I don't know what to tell you. 
Um, he, Mark Meadows, is going to be involved in helping get rid of um, Thomas. Uh, he's going to be involved in the deal, the plan to get the Dems to leave her alone, forget about her. Thomas resigns. And they go off. And they get away with everything they did. But he's, he's, he's involved in this. It's, you know, his wife did something bad, so it ends his Supreme Court. It didn't have to, and he knew it. But somehow, um, Mark Meadows isn't satisfied with that. It may be that, there we go, see, sometimes I get more. It feels like he's getting as much info as he can to share to get him off. I mean, he is in there. So he knows a lot. I think he knows he needs a lot of information to stay out of jail, not stay in government. Because I get the feeling he's leaving. Um, down here. I know what this is, but there's not a lot of information on it. Um, they're asking him to get information on who set the bombs. Now, they've asked him if he knew, and I'm going to tell you, he wavered, okay? So, stop right there. Anytime you waver, you know something. Because if you didn't know anything, there wouldn't be any waver. You would just go, I, I don't know anything. <laughs> but he didn't, and I'm going to show you. Um, and he thinks it's a woman. Or he knows it's a one. I don't know which one it is. But here we go. Just, and this is enough to tell you and show you. So, okay. Okay. This is the waiver. Eight, two, eight, two. Wait, back and forth, back and forth. He has the control and the power, which tells me he has the info on this woman that could end her. But he's wavering about ending that. Ah, I don't know what that means. But apparently, the person who... Did the bomb looks to be a female. And he knows something. Now, how much does he know? He knows enough that he can end her. But he's wavering on that one. He's not wanting to go there. And so, he wavers all the way to the end. So there's no real answer here. Um, it almost feels like to me, and now I'm telling you what I feel, so I can't show you anything. It almost feels like to me, ooh, I don't want to go there. I don't want to do that. Let's just play dumb. I'll see what information I can get and not tell the truth on that one. If he can get by with it and still get off. If not, he'll throw her if he has to. But he's not sure he has to. He thinks he can convince them that, you know, he doesn't know anything. He tried to find out. Nobody seems to really know anything. And it may be because of Thomas and Jenny and a few others that he's given that they let that go. I'm telling you, he knows who set those bombs.
or he has an idea, a strong idea, something. He, <laughs> there's something. I don't know what it is. But because no harm, no foul, you know, he's that kind of thing. Um, nothing really happened. Um, while we're at this no harm, no file, foul, I don't know anything about the bombs. I do know that bombs were set at both Democrat and Republicans. And that's all I know, okay? But my feeling is what I'm getting from these cards is there was never any danger, almost like they weren't supposed to go off. Nothing was supposed to happen. And I don't know, because I don't know nothing except bombs were set. I don't even know who set them. Apparently, he thinks a woman's involved or knows a woman's involved. I don't know. I never even read on the bomber. Oh, let me just do that and see if I can pick up something on the bomber. There we go. Let's just do that. It's just something weird. Okay, clear your mind. No, you don't. Okay, bomber. What can you tell me about the person who set up bombs at the Republican and Democratic convention? What can you tell me who set up those bombs and why? I'm going to say this and I hope you understand what I'm saying. Sometimes when mental illness is involved in my readings, I can't make sense of it. Um, and there's never going to be a lot of cards to give you information on it because there's not a lot of information to give. Um, it's a woman. 
but she's teamed up with a man. I think they may be husband and wife. Yeah. But there's mental illness here that I can't... Um, in a way to describe this and to give you an idea of what I'm talking about. Um, it's just this, this here, these here first, which automatically told me, uh, okay, the woman is really messed up. There's the woman and the man, you know, they're, they're up to no good. There's a chance, um, to stop them. Again, a chance to stop her. Okay. But she thinks she's doing good somehow by stopping. How do you do good? Because she just didn't do the Democrats. She did the Republicans too. So it doesn't make sense. It's short. It doesn't make sense. This is always an indication to me. The mind does the same thing. When there is um, clarity that's not there, that should be there, they can't think out the whole process. So you get the little bits and pieces, the plan, the stop. The, it's a, But you can't put it together because it doesn't make, they can't put it together in their own head. It doesn't make sense. So the same thing here. Here we go. Um, the four of wands. Okay. So we're keeping the family happy. She may have been um, pulled in doing it for the husband. Because I believe it's a husband and wife. I'm not positive. But I believe it is. Uh, the seven of rods. Which is in reversed. She really wasn't putting up a fight or a resistance or anything. She seems to think it's a, it's a good idea. The Four of Swords. She's going to get away with it. She's going to get by with it. Um, tower moment. Um, well, we have the King of, of Swords reversed, which is who she thinks they're punishing. I'm just telling you what. And then the, the Tower moment. And then the Queen of Cups. So, Tower moments. Queen of Cups. Um, with this, I'm getting two things. I'm getting one, she wanted a woman to pay the price. And two, it's her own tower. Remember, nothing happened. It's like she didn't really know and couldn't, she could not keep the thought process in her mind long enough to do any of it right. So, to me, this is, um, and I'm not going to get any more than that, and I'm not going to understand it. Neither are you. So, I don't know who it is. They may not even um, be, or she may not, or he may not, somebody may not be even in government, but whatever, there's there's a mental problem, y'all. There's there's a mental problem there. I don't know if they're ever going to find anything out. Now, Mark Meadows seems to... I don't know if he knows firsthand or if he's heard something. But either way, he's not because he's, he, he's wavering on it. Usually, if you know something firsthand, you would go, oh, yeah. And... But he wasn't. It was more like, mm, I might, I might. But it tells me something. Because if you don't know anything, you just go, oh, no. That wavering is there. So he knows something. Exactly what the heck it is, I don't know. I, I have no idea. Anyway. <laughs> so there you go. Um, if they ever do find out, I'm telling you they're going to find mental illness in this woman. 
I really am not getting anything on the man, which is kind of weird. Because he's there with her, but I'm not picking up information on him at all. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I'll try that one again. And looking at it from his point of view. Eh, I don't know. The next thing to read on, that's what I'll do. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for all your love, prayers, and support for Hero. The bottom of my heart, I thank you. Till the next time, friends. Thanks.